Solar Edge just announced that it's exiting the energy storage business. Does this mean the bottom is falling out for the solar and storage industry? In today's video, I'm going to be covering Solar Edge's bombshell announcement and discussing what the implications are for the larger solar industry. The smarter way to go solar. Alright, now in today's video, we're talking about Solar Edge's announcement that is exiting the energy storage business. Now, last week, social media was ablaze with reports. We have breaking news. Solar Edge is exiting energy storage manufacturing and focusing on their core solar business. After Solar Edge put out a press release explaining that it was shutting down its energy storage division. Inside the press release, interim CEO Ronan Fair states, the decision to close our energy storage division was the result of a thoughtful analysis of our portfolio of businesses and product lines industry trends, and the competitive environment. The measures also represent continued execution of two of our main priorities, financial stability through cost reduction, return to cash flow positivity and profitability, and focus on our core business lines of solar, PV attached storage, and energy management capabilities. Well, this sounds a little bit confusing because all the talk recently has been talking about everything is moving towards batteries. So I reached out to John Allman, Chief Marketing Officer for Solar Edge for North America, to see if he had any comment on the matter. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Generac. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Generac PowerCell 2. PowerCell 2 gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, intelligent load control, and generator support seamlessly integrated on a single platform. PowerCell 2 uses an AC coupled architecture to facilitate ease of installation for new systems and retrofitting battery storage to existing solar homes. So if you'd like to learn more information, then go to the PowerCell website or click the link in the description below so you can get in touch with an installer right away. Now, within 24 hours of me reaching out, I got an email from SolarEdge's PR firm, Incus, explaining that the announcement had to do with the utility scale energy storage business and that it was not affecting the residential or commercial solar and energy storage businesses. By the way, we just had John recently on a Solar Surge podcast episode. Uh, so if you haven't seen the previous Solar Surge podcast, I believe it was episode number 47, where we talk about Solar Edge and the future of module level power electronics. Now, according to the statement, the recent announcement about the closure of our energy storage division has no impact whatsoever on our residential and CNI solar attached storage solutions. CNI, of course, is commercial and industrial. This includes both our current offerings and our future development plans and roadmap. The affected division referred to in the announcement focused solely on the manufacturing of lithium iron battery cells for BESS, battery energy storage system, solutions in the utility segment. So it looks like manufacturing of the actual battery cells is now off the table for Solar Edge. However, we're still likely to see Solar Edge branded batteries for residential and commercial solutions. Now, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that the, the battery and the inverter space has gotten very, very crowded. Just a few months ago, we were at RE Plus in Anaheim, where we saw literally dozens and dozens of new solar and battery inverter brands. And so you're likely to continue to see Solar Edge branded batteries, even though the internal battery cells may not be directly manufactured by Solar Edge or one of its subsidiaries. Now, one of the trends that we're still seeing play out is this trend towards consolidation or convergence of everything on a single platform, meaning that all of the major system components that make up your home solar storage and energy management solution would be coming from a single manufacturer. So in the case of Solar Edge and the Solar Edge Home, you have your solar inverter, your battery, uh, your battery storage, you've got your monitoring app, you've got your intelligent load control devices, everything communicating and coordinated on a single software platform. And we think that this trend is going to continue. Frankly, it's what offers the, the most consistent, the highest quality of user experience when you have everything operating on a single platform. But most of the batteries that are on the market today and most of the brands that we've covered, the companies that manufacture the overall platform or the overall solution are not necessarily the, the, the company that manufactures the internal battery cells themselves. 
So if you're talking about brands that are that are popular in the solar space right now, brands like Solar Edge, Enphase, Tesla, Franklin, you know, all of these are great battery storage solutions for residential. Uh, but these companies are not making the cells themselves, right? The, the, the top battery cell manufacturers are companies that many of you have probably never heard of. You, you've never really seen them at the consumer brand level. Companies like BYD or CATL, uh, those companies are manufacturing a lot of the internal battery cells. And then you have integrators like, let's say, Solar Edge or Enphase that then wrap their overall residential solar solution around it. Now, of course, we know here in the US residential market, pretty much everything is going to battery storage now. And a big reason for that is the loss of one-for-one -one net metering. Now, when we talk about one-for-one -one net metering, what we mean is, you know, your relationship with the power company, it used to be if you installed solar on your home that you could set up a two-way relationship with the power company. During daylight hours, when you have excess solar available, you power the home first, and then all of your excess solar could be exported or sold back to the power company, running your electric meter backwards and building up credits on your account so that during the evening hours, you can just pull energy back in using the credits that you built up during daylight hours. Uh, and, and in a one-for-one -one net metering, everything just balances out to zero. So you don't have to worry about storing any of your energy in a battery. You just dump it to the grid during the daytime and then pull it back during the nighttime. Well, that works great if you're getting full one-for-one -one price credit. But what we're seeing under the new NEM 3.0 in California and other utilities across the country is that the power companies no longer want to give you a one-for-one -one credit. So in some cases now in California, you may have to send the power company four or five, six kilowatt hours of electricity during daytime just to pull one kilowatt hour back in during the evening. And so that really kills your financial return on investment unless you install battery storage with your solar. Uh, and that's why we believe battery storage is here to stay. California is already going this way. And, and other countries with more mature, more developed solar markets have already gone this way. Germany or Poland, where you don't necessarily have a one-for-one -one buyback. So people that are installing solar are installing storage as well so that they can self-consume as much of their solar energy as possible. And they don't have to worry about negotiating plans for buying and selling back and forth with the power company. So this has been a discussion on SolarEdge's announcement about exiting the energy storage division. Uh, again, this does not mean SolarEdge will not be offering energy storage solutions as part of SolarEdge Home. We very much expect to see a SolarEdge Home battery. It may be that an, a third party manufacturer is making the internal cells inside that battery, but solar storage, intelligent load control, uh, and of course, bi-directional EV charging coming very soon. Uh, we expect all of that to, to continue to be part of the equation. Hey, by the way, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with everything. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote, you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best equipment and getting the best deal. Uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.